From the look of those beautiful lights and decorations, you'd expect this to be a Christmas story. And it is. But above all, it's a family story. The Carter family story. Somewhere in this room that looks like it's inhabited by a teenager is their 16-year-old son, Kyle. There he is. And I don't need to tell you, a girl lives here. That's 15-year-old Sienna with her best friend, the smartphone. Nope, that's not me. That's mom and dad, better known as Jack and Holly. And this whole house is about to go off. <laughs> Nothing like waking up early in the morning. What the fun. Morning, Mrs. Carter. Morning, Mr. Carter. Morning, Morning Carter, Carter family. family. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. But you didn't see that coming. I've been the family best friend for over 30 years. That's dog years. Started as Jack's best friend, and then Holly's, and now finally, the kids. Hey kids, you guys getting ready? Sienna, do you have your science project? Just let me have only oh, no. one you second. I just I want one first. second. Sienna? Boy, I love Holly's cooking. Who's ready for pancakes and eggs? Um, Dad? Yeah. Doesn't the tree look kind of crooked? Maybe a little. A little? It's practically sideways. Did you even follow the instructions? Of course I followed the instructions, son. It must be uh, some sort of design flaw. You know Ricky from my basketball team? Yeah. He gets a real tree every year, and it's like 15 feet tall. Not everyone has the money for a 15-foot Christmas tree. Sienna, darling, look up. Look up, honey. Up. You. Sorry, yeah. Sweetheart. Who's supposed to walk Buster this morning? Sienna Kyle was. was. Kyle, could you get your basketball off the plate, please? Oh, that's so gross. Thank you. Mom, I'm starving. Moments away. Hey, Mom, you need help plating? No, thank you, sweetie. Oh, my gosh, my phone is so slow. I better be getting you a smartphone for Christmas. Uh, cell phones are a little expensive. Maybe you'll get one next year. <laughs> if she's getting a new phone, then I'm getting a car. Well, if he's getting a car, I want a new kitchen. Okay, okay, listen, maybe next year everyone will get everything they want on their Christmas list. Next year? We're not gonna get Christmas presents this year. Sweetheart, we're getting Christmas presents this year, but next year we'll get bigger ones because I'm gonna be making a lot more money. Why don't we focus on the blessings we already do have? Like a delicious homemade breakfast and a wonderfully healthy family and the time in our schedules to have a meal and talk. Oh, that's uh, Ricky from the team. Gotta go. Oh, yeah, Courtney's picking me up. Well, Buster, don't you have anywhere you need to go? Boy, man's best friend. Well, I still love you. And I love you, sweetheart. And this looks delicious. And this is the Carter family business, Carter's Baker. Started in 1949 by Jack's grandfather. Yeah, I know, Jack doesn't look like a baker. Holly is the chef in the family. Jack always envisioned himself traveling the world, becoming a great writer. But then real life came along. Wife, kids, me. And finally, his dad got sick. So Jack had to take over the family business. Jack feels he never had a chance to fulfill his dream. 
Holly has come up with a brand new recipe that I think he will enjoy tremendously. So do me a favor. Serve those to him this afternoon when he gets back from work with his favorite cup of coffee. And make sure you tell him how much that Holly and I appreciate him. I sure will. No, 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 ma'am. Those are on me. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mrs. Harmon, how can I help you today? A loaf of Holly's wonderful bread. Ah. And a box of cupcakes, please. We're having the girls over for Mahjong tonight. Mm. I'll tell you a little secret. Mm. I've added a couple of extras because I'm sure Bertle and Margie will be coming over tonight. And they can never eat just one of Holly's cupcakes. <laughs> That's true. And could you tell Herman I said hello? Oh, and I'll probably be seeing him at the next town hall meeting, but I need his vote to get those crosswalks funded over at the school. So please, please mention that. The bakery struggles a bit financially, but has been looking after the family okay. all of these years. But Jack still wants to find a way to make more money for the family. So he dabbles in the stock market at every free moment. He's not very good at it, but you have to love him for trying. These are for the Clarks. Their maid is picking them up at three. Ooh, their maid. That must be nice. Nice. Yes, I'm sure it is. Listen, I wanted to show you something. Look at this stock. I would love to get in on the ground floor of this mutual fund. I am positive it's going through the roof. Really, honey? You're a stock market analyst now? I mean, you barely passed algebra in high school. What are you talking about? I got a B. B minus, and only because I tutored you. Well, sweetheart, we have to do something. I mean, we're barely making ends meet as it is, and Kyle's going to college next year, and Lord knows a Sienna wants the most expensive of everything. Honey, all teenagers do. What's important is the quality time you spend with them. Gotta go, buns in the oven. Customer. Sammy! I think I know why you're here. Not that one, that one. Oh. Those are my favorite as well. I hope you enjoy that. What do you say? Thank you. You're very welcome. Anything else I can help you with, Mr. Just Mason? Just came for the cookie, Jack. No, 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 that's on me. Oh, uh, thanks, Jack. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Bye, Christmas, Jack. Mrs. Mason. Bye, Jack. Merry Christmas. Honey, you gotta stop giving the pastries away, okay? It was just a cookie. It's really sweet. But at some point, they gotta pay for them. So it was a few days before Christmas. Jack was about to have a brainstorm that was gonna change the Carter family forever. Hey, honey. Yeah? Come here, you have to see this. Coming. Fathering Pines is closing down, but they're offering great rates for one last season. What's Farthering Pines? Oh, it's this place I used to love as a kid. Farthering Pines, oh. We almost went there for our one year anniversary. Right? Why didn't you guys go there? That's about the time your brother came along. Figures he ruins everything. Uh-huh. Weren't we gonna go on our fifth anniversary? Yeah. But then dad got sick and we had to cancel. And we've just been too busy to go ever since. I mean, where has the time gone? Well, you got her to pay attention for a whole 16 seconds. That's pretty good. Is it me, or is this family just not connecting anymore? You gotta keep trying, honey. Because every time you connect is a victory. Family meeting. We are about to embark on an adventure that the Carter family has not undertaken in many, many years. Not only will it bring us closer together as a family, but it will give me the opportunity to write my number one best-selling novel. Honey. And I can say it in two words. Christmas vacation. Oh. What about the bakery? Honey, the bakery's gonna be fine. So where are we going? Hawaii? Paris? Better. Fathering Pines. Fathering Aww. Pines? What is that? A camp for dads or something? No, it's furthering. Kyle. Located in the beautiful mountains with pristine snow, there is hiking, skiing, sledding. We'll have a luxurious cabin with a roaring fire 24-7. We will be as cozy and snug as bugs in a rug. And I promise you all, 
it will be your favorite Christmas ever. Wait, wait, so we're spending our family Christmas in the wilderness? That is correct. Sweetie, what about the cost? Can we afford this? This is the beautiful thing. It is so affordable that we cannot not do it. I don't know, Jack. I don't know. Yeah, and I'm gonna miss Monica's Christmas party. Yeah, Dad, my team's on a holiday basketball tournament. Please, listen to me. This is so important, okay? Life is just passing this family by. It seems like it was yesterday that you were babies, and suddenly I wake up, and Sienna is 14. 15, Dad. 15! Oh, it does look exactly as beautiful as it did when we almost went the first time. This looks really old. Dad, did you do some research on the internet? Of course I researched it. And speaking of the internet, you're gonna love this. We are going off the grid. That's right. No distractions, no cell phones, no iPads, no laptops, no internet. <gasps> no cell phones? That's correct, and that goes for me too. I'm not gonna bring a laptop. I will be riding oh. on an old fashioned typewriter. Things. What's a typewriter? It's something old people use. I... This is an amazing idea. You kids, you are gonna have the time of your life. Honey, you have made me so happy. <laughs> you have made me so happy. And this is going to make our little family closer than ever. I love you. Merry Christmas, kids. Mm. It looks so glum. So there we were, packing up for the Carter family vacation. Sienna, what did I say about the phone, sweetheart? Dad, that's not fair at all. Kyle gets to bring his ball. Nothing like a road trip to bring the family closer I together. I hardly think that's the same thing. Yeah, Sienna, it's definitely not the same thing. I mean, I can't take selfies and Snapchat all day with my ball. Okay, well, what if there's a blizzard and an earthquake and it causes an avalanche and bears start to attack us and we're lost and we don't have a phone okay, okay. and we need to use Listen, mine? I will lock mom's phone up in the glove box in case there's an emergency, but I want you to put your phone in the house. Thank you. It's a flip phone. It doesn't even have internet on it. So began the Carter family vacation that would change their lives forever. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Can we stop? Drew, uh, we just stopped for Kyle. Like, I need to go with me stop. We have to get our schedules together, kids, okay? Ugh, oh, we've been driving forever. Hashtag basketball's lame. Look, let me tell you something. I am going to be able to get some writing done up here. Wow. Now, this is majestic. At least it seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm hungry. Can we go get something to eat, please? Look at the sights up here. Oh, 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 this little bridge, my favorite. I used to play down here when I was a kid. <laughs> and Sienna, aren't you happy now that you're not gonna be using a phone? Uh, I don't know what to do with my energy. I literally haven't texted in like days. We're almost there, guys. Look at the sign. Huh? Father. <laughs> 
What do you think, Buster? <laughs> oh, that's the one, that was the one from the picture. <laughs> this is it, right here. The country, the fresh air, the mountains, snow, pine trees. Made it. I was sold. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, man, that took forever. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was only three hours. Uh, I miss home already. I love it. Let's go inside. This is it. This is the cabin I used to come to when I was a kid with Grandpa. It's adorable. What do you say we go inside and then we can unload the car? Yeah. Come on, Buster. Come on, Terry. You want to okay. go inside, buddy? Come on, guys. Sure, you're going to like it. Let's get warm. This place is so small. Well, I think it's charming. <laughs> is this what the old days look like? <laughs> well, it is their least expensive cabin. Figures. We chose it because it has family meaning. You know what? I bet they haven't even remodeled this since you and Grandpa were here last. Well, it does look remarkably familiar. This is going to be interesting. You know what? They are so lucky I don't have my phone right now, and I would review them and give them one star. Well, I've got some good news for you, sweetheart. You and your brother get to share a room. Bunk beds. Seriously? I call top bunk. <laughs> bunk beds! Fun! What are we gonna do with them? <laughs> Let's get these bags off, buddy. All right, Dad. Wow, it's coming down. Go on the other side. Go on the other side. You get it? Yeah. All right, last one is a rotten egg. <laughs> so Jack could not be happier. Spending time with his son, his beautiful wife's cooking, his loving daughter getting used to the place. You'd be if you were firewood. Well, I would be right here. Kyle! Okay. So I looked all around for some firewood. I couldn't find any, which means that you and I are going to go on a little firewood expedition. All right. Well, we have central heat. Honey, we're in a cabin in the middle of winter. Besides, my dad used to start a fire all the time, and it just wouldn't be right. It didn't, okay? You're right. But I'm cold now, so I'm going to turn it on. Good idea. You ready? Yeah, let's go. That is for you, my friend. You know what? This reminds me of when I used to go gather wood with my dad. And I bet one day... You might just be out here with your son. Can't wait. Jack had all these wonderful plans to show his kids where his dad had taken him. The sledding, the tree chopping, building a fireplace, a handing down of generation to generation. A true Christmas vacation. Should we be looking on the ground, you know, where we can actually get to the wood? Yeah, but... My dad used to teach me to look up high for a clearing. You want to try to find a spot where the sun's coming through and drying out the branches. So just any one of them? Well, we don't want to harm the living ones. We just want to find the dead ones so we can break the branches and chop them up easier. And when everything seems like it's falling into place, that's when life how should that curve? Oh, 
faster, it's snow! We men! We make a fire! <laughs> Robert? <laughs> How the f are you? Well, I'm I'm great. I mean, uh, just plain old perfect. Wow. Uh, you look like you're doing wonderful. Oh, life is amazing. It's like winning the lotto every day. Honey, bunny, you got your family right here as well. I'm sorry. I'm Robert. This is my beautiful wife, Eva. This little guy. That's Tommy, our son. Oh, oh, this is my wife. Holly, she's uh, the love of my life, my flower, my everything. Uh, OK. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Hello. Uh, and this is Kyle. He's a all-star basketball player. And this over here I'm seeing her. is uh, my daughter. And the man of the family, Buster. That's a very handsome dog for a very handsome family. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Bring you up to speed. How do the two of you know each other? Well, it's uh, kind of funny, to be honest, but Robert and I used to come here when we were kids together. And we've been coming up every year ever since this guy was small. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's the same place that we used to stay with your dad. No, no, no. Actually, this is the place that we used to stay at with my dad. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have photos of us standing in front of it. How cute. Wow. I just... I don't remember it being so small. That place is tiny. We just picked up some gourmet coffee beans. We have a beautiful espresso machine at the house. Why don't you guys come over some hot chocolate, okay? Mm -hmm. Give us a chance to get the families to, get do. to know Great each idea. other. We can I chat. But, yeah, guys, oh let's go. Great idea. Oh my God. Go. Place right across. Yeah. You can't so miss weird. it. So Please come and welcome. You'll love it here. <laughs> Wow, talk about a vacation home. Yep, I was in love. Oh, hey. oh my heart is he clean? Oh, honey, don't worry. Oh, Buster. No, Buster, get down, Buster. Don't worry about it. Is this what heaven looks like? <laughs> I thought heaven for her would be like a giant cell phone with a battery that never dies, you know? <laughs> Kyle, get over yourself. <laughs> Do you want to go yeah. to the house? Yeah. Yes, bye. Oh, Don't you worry. Sorry. Sorry, Buster. It's an Come on, hey, it's right. I've never had animals growing up before. Sweetheart, we have a housekeeper. She'll clean it up. Let, let him enjoy himself. Good boy. Make yourself at home. So, what do you think? I mean, you could fit a five of our cabins inside this one. Hey, can I borrow your phone just to take a picture to send one of my friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just. I don't know how you ever run out of stuff to do. Well, there's days and I, I don't get it. We have so much stuff to do. A big screen TV. So y'all were friends when you were little. Or you must have been because you went on vacations together. Yeah, we, were, we were friends. We were very good friends. I mean, we weren't best friends. We drifted apart. You know, we just kind of lost touch. Which is a shame. Honey, money, you want the usual in yours? Yes, darling. That is a shame. But... We have now to catch up, right? Exactly. I mean, why don't you tell me how you joined the ranks of the 1%? Well, I don't know if we're really there, but we're not far off. I, I, I just, uh, I don't know, I got bored in college and I started to dabble in the stock market. Turns out I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, Robert is just being modest. He's actually a genius at it. Well, I, I did make my first million by the time I was a junior and I haven't looked back. Uh, I, I just would invest in, uh, you know, uh, small businesses. Uh, computer, graphics, software, restaurants, you name it, whatever it was, somehow it flourished. So you all met in college? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Robert is a lot older than I am. Oh, I, I didn't mean to, just, just that Robert looks so young and so do you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, unlike Robert, I haven't had any work done, but I understand the confusion because, um, well, I had Tommy at a very early age. And you're a stay-at-home mom. No, 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 no. Actually, I am the owner and executive chef of Edgar Bonzo's. Wow. Yeah, well. What? It's a five-star restaurant in Ripley Hills. Oh. Two Michelin stars. Nice. 
She learned everything from her father, an excellent chef. Tell us what you've been up to, Jack. You were such a dreamer back in school. Did you ever do anything with those short stories you were writing? Did you ever get them published? Uh, I have five number one bestsellers. Really? Which books? He's joking. <gasps> Guy can dream. Um, you know, after my father died, we started running the bakery. So we've been doing that for the past five years. And Holly is an amazing baker and pastry chef. Oh, a bakery? Like donuts. Little and cupcakes. And... Cute. Well, Holly, that'll be great. You and I can talk shop while you're here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, like I said, if you guys ever get bored, your cabin's... And sometimes you just don't talk about really anything while you're getting to know each other. Yeah. It just smells really good, and it's clean, too. I'm pretty sure there's something dying in ours. And we got the wonderful view out back. We it's can amazing. always go sledding and tubing wow. right in the backyard, too, so... Whew. Beautiful. It's crazy. Hey, the game's on tonight. Yeah, let's go watch it, dude. Let's go. Your father's footsteps. He was... He was... He was... Listen, we do. Now listen, we should let you enjoy your oh, no, no, stay! No, come on, stay I out hope it's not a game 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 game. Game. Yeah. It's a game. They have a big screen. Dad. Yeah, Daddy, Tommy, he's gonna play his guitar. Oh, he's, I don't yeah, know a few he's... chords. I mean, oh, I'm... He's a rock star. Uh, let's go. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I'll pop open a bottle of Dom. I'll fire up the hot tub. Sneak hot tub? Hmm, hot tub, Jack. Yeah, thank you all for your hospitality. Oh, goodness, I hope it's not on account of the dog. He was actually really quite well uh, behaved. Thank we you. love him. Hey. <laughs> You, my friend, I mean, wow. This place is impressive. I mean, you've done great for yourself. I'm proud of you. Jack, you're making it seem like it's goodbye forever. We're gonna be hanging out all week, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know where to find me. In the little cabin. Well, you guys are welcome back to the big cabin any old time. We're gonna be firing up the grill soon. You got that thing cooking now, right? Yeah. It's a little hot. Mm -hmm. I told you, you just have to get some oxygen to those flames. Good job. Hey, thanks, guys. Way to go. Oh. Okay, who's ready for a little action-packed family time, huh? Sienna, you wanna play some charades? Cards, huh? You have a checkered tournament? Phone. You wanna have a checkered tournament? What? I miss my phone. What? I'm going to bed. That's... Okay, good night. Because it's just the three of us. What do you want to do? Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm going to go to bed, too, and just fall asleep listening to the game on the radio. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Um, we can... Night, guys. You don't want to play games? What is the matter with everybody tonight? It's our first night here, and it was a long day. Yeah, well, tell me about it. Besides... <sighs> You and I can enjoy the fire together. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. I love you, too. Hey! Whoa. We thought we'd invite you and your family out for a hearty breakfast at Fresco. The food is to die for. It's absolutely fabulous. And afterwards, we're going up on the mountain on snowmobiles. Come on, Carters, you gotta come. Yeah, yeah let's go, Dad, let's go. Oh, kids, your dad already made plans. Yes, or, or we would. Jack, I'm paying for everything. It's on me. Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't do that. What's money if you can't see other people enjoy things with you? Besides, I've already paid for the snowmobiles, and they're non-refundable. Dad. What? No, what about Buster? Leave him. Bring him. Plenty room in the car. <laughs> Bring him, OK. Well, okay, bring him. Maybe it'll be fun. Buster, Buster, you don't want a snowmobile? <laughs> So I'll tell you one thing. This guy knows how to enjoy himself. He was definitely endearing himself to the family. 
Can you wave? Can you wave to mama? Look it, look, stop! Beautiful or what? Huh? Fathering pines. What do you say, Buster? Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> Come on, that Buster. Was that was fun. That was yeah. great. Are you kidding me? How about that chocolate? Oh, I love that one. Come on, Dr. Giardelli's. Do you know that? Uh, Hershey's. It was almost oh, the best. Good. Thank you. Seriously, I mean, I've never had $30 eggs better than before. Yeah, well, hopefully that's not the last time I'm telling you. A little perseverance, hard work, luck. You're going to be fine. You're going to be writing that novel before you know it. Well, from your mouth to God's ears. Hey, uh, what? Ring a bell? Snowshoes? Yeah, come on. Your dad, winter's up oh. here. Carl Carter's Farthington Pines Winter Olympics. Oh, my bags. <laughs> used to make all the kids in the neighborhood compete in the snowshoe races. Oh, we did the inner tube races. Oh, you remember those? Snowman building. Oh, and the snowman bowling. The worst, the cross country skiing. Ski. Don't even bring it up. You I, were I, I, I horrible. At Wait that. a second. We were horrible. You that. came in last place every time. No, except for the times you came in last place. I might have come in second to last no, place, no, but, but you, you know, owned. You know what my you favorite own. thing of all? was when we spent hours hiking for that magical Christmas tree. Oh, that tree. Our bowl? De, De Navidad, Navidad perfecto, perfecto, right? Whoever found it would have eternal happiness. Riches beyond your wildest dreams. You know, why are they closing this place down? That's sad. I mean, you have the swankiest cabin. I've got that little Daniel Boone model. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, the owners, uh, they were trying to remodel, and uh, uh, they were trying to bring in a higher class of people, and they ran out of money, which is why some of the places are great, and some of the places are dumps. I mean, anybody could afford to live there. But they forgot about the middle class. They need a consistent clientele. No way, I'm, I'm middle class. Yeah, OK. Come on, let's do this. Wait. No, let's Come on, not. let's do this thing. Oh, we're, we're racing again. Let's go! Ten? Come on, Robert. Come on, seriously. All right, here's the deal. We go from here, around that tree, and back. Whoever hears first, okay? I'm tired already. Good. Go. go. Oh, look at Tad over there. What's he doing? Oh, I got you now. To... Ah! 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 Oh, oh! Jack! Woohoo! The winner! Yeah! Revisiting your youth is not so easy sometimes. Jack! Jack! What on earth? You okay? I think. I think he pushed me down. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry I beat you. Oh, no. Hey, all in good fun, right? Tomorrow we could try something different. You know, mix it up. No, you know. Come on. As much as I appreciate your generosity, you know, and you're spending all this time with my family, I I got to pass. I mean, I mean, we should really just uh, spend some time alone together, you know? Maybe even get my, my novel started. Well, we at least got to have dinner together, Come no? Come for dinner. Yeah. You know, uh, thank you, Eva. Uh, but Jack's right. We really need to spend some time together just as a family. I think I'm just gonna grill some burgers out tonight. Hamburgers? Oh, yeah. Can Tommy eat with us? Well, honey, it's family time. Yeah, not, not tonight. Yep, and Tommy, I am making my famous stuffed chicken. Let me tell you, I stuff it with uh, spinach, pesto, oh, pesto, and feta. It is delicious. You're gonna love it, I swear. Eva. Yeah? I seasoned the heck out of my burgers. So. She makes the best burgers in the world with all the fixings and trimmings. It'll make you want to hug your neighbor. Well, all right to that. All right, you guys enjoy your burgers, but how about we get together later for some dessert? Yeah, yes, mm. dessert. You know what? Not tonight. All right, tomorrow, morning, breakfast. Holly, breakfast. Wait, wait, uh, dessert for breakfast? Come on. No, they're the best crepes for me to take. You're going to love See it. See you in the all morning, right, Carter. It's done. It's done. Okay. It was a great day. Uh, oh. What are you on it? Hi, right. Carters. If you miss us, you know where Bye. we live. All right. Bye, Bye, guys. What is going on here? So the family was working on reconnecting. At least, 
They were trying. So, this, this is quality family time. Sienna. I'm amazed that you've been able to keep quiet for a few moments. Okay, I'm sorry. Tommy lives really far away and I don't have that much time with him. You met him this morning. And he is just a boy. This is your family. Dad was just a boy before he became dad to you. It's husband to mom. Okay, whatever. It's the same thing. It's been a couple of days since you've had your cell phone. You haven't complained about that. I'm proud of you. That's because she's been all over Tommy's phone. It still shows some effort, okay? And I am proud of you. Besides, what would you be doing different if you were on the web? Hmm? I mean, can't you just comment to us whatever it is you'd be tweeting on Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, you can't tweet on Facebook. That's, that's not hard. No? Well, why don't you just tell me what you would do then? Um, I just post pictures with me and my friends are hanging out or... I comment on their pictures. Mm. Okay, well, let's just pretend you took a family photo and you posted it. What would you say? Okay, um, with the parents, the dog, and the annoying brother. Heart sign. Hey. Heart sign. You see, we can communicate like this. Hashtag disturbing. I'm not talking like that. Fine. Why don't you tell us about the story of you and Brad at the park the other day playing basketball? What happened with that? Yeah, honey, you never told us what happened. Yay! Another story about a ball going through a ring. <laughs> Hashtag dad's idea for commentary. All right, and you guys want the extra long version? Yes. All right, well, me and Brad went to the park, and we played a game of ball. The end. Hashtag. And the Carter family wasn't the only ones who needed to reconnect. This is good, honey. Sorry, what? You say something? What? Do you mind, um, passing the salt? Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those. Huh? It's probably one of her workout buddies. It is my workout buddy. My trainer, you have no idea who he's training mm -hmm. now. Did I tell you? What? Hello. Okay. Hold on yeah. a second. <clears throat> I'm telling you, now is the time to pick that cherry. SP Entertainment is there. Do you know what kind of a deal we can <laughs> hey, Dad, get? Dad, will you grab me a napkin? Well, look, I'll, I'll check on it right now. It's uh, not. Susie? I cannot deal with the texting thing. I think it's rude at the table. 13 so I points. figured I'd call you instead. 7% so to 1885. So listen, are you going to meet us? I'm working out with Kish. Not since last March right. has it been that high. So okay, I think if we could grab... He wants me to do more lunches, which I don't really kind of understand. Up, Why aren't they arranged in alphabetical order? They didn't teach you that in school yet? Well... You see, the principle behind it was to keep people from typing too fast, which would prevent the typewriters from jamming. Well, why don't they just update it? Computers don't jam and people could type faster. <laughs> that is a very good idea. But I kind of think people are a little used to it now. Oh, in the old days, uh, people's personal journals were kind of like their Facebook pages. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Here, put your, put your two pointers right here. Here? here. Yep. And go like, ahead, try to type a couple words. Like this? And give it a go. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, that's no good. What do you think happened? Let me check. Yeah, it looks like the entire village is out of power. Uh, we should go to Tommy's house and see if his electricity's working. Yeah, and if it is, we can catch the rest of the ball game. Well, yeah. I can see their place from here, kids. They don't have any lights on either. <sighs> well, this is liable to be a long night. Maybe you should go get some more firewood. Be careful. Well, Kyle's got my back, right, Kai? <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Let's go. We'll be back as soon as we can, Mom. I know of a spot up here we can grab some wood. Got it. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah. How are you getting along with your sister? I don't know. Fine. Something's bothering me. You know, this boy thing, and then she won't really talk to me about it. I mean, I mean, even the sweetest of boys can break a young girl's heart, and I'm worried about her. Dad, don't worry, okay? I'm gonna take good care of her. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, sweetheart, I love you. I love you. I mean, this lighting, it's perfect for writing. Hey, that rhymes. Oh. Writing? Were you really gonna write? No. Maybe. Oh my gosh, stop! Get it. Hey, Carter family. How you doing today? Ah, uh, well, we were doing fine until our power went off last night. Our power went off last night, too. And then I turned the generator on and it came back. Why don't you guys come over and get warm, have some hot breakfast? No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. No, we're not, we're freezing and hungry. Tommy's place, Tommy's place. Hey, Mr. Jones, you think it'd be okay if we, um... Turn on the big game? It's already on, buddy. Oh, cool, let's go. <laughs> cool, why don't we just, um... Have family time at the Joneses. No, 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 you guys go. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll stay here and do a little writing. Why don't you write where it's warm? If that's what you want to do. Jack, I could sure use your advice on some poetry I've been scribbling down the last couple of years. It would mean a lot to me to have your help. You know, it sounds great. Excellent. Let's okay. go. Let's go, kids. <sighs> About time. Let's go. Let's go. Buster! Come on, boy. You'll freeze here. Hmm? Are you kidding me? A first edition Prince and the Papa? First edition. My wife knew that was my all-time favorite book as a kid. She goes to some fancy charity auction. She buys it for me. You're so good at that. Can, can you show me how to do it? Yeah, watch. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, three-pointer! Yes! <laughs> Two confection ovens, a built-in griddle. You want to trade lives with me? <laughs> Honey, I hope you don't want to trade everything. Oh, sweetie, not you. Come on. Just tell them what they want to hear. Anyway, back to my character. You are a lucky man, my friend. Thanks. I am a very, very lucky man. Hey, who wants to play some games? I'm in. Game All right, let me set everything up. Great. Wait, everybody wants to play games when he says it, but not when I say it? Come on now, come on. Children. Um, it's, um, factory. Boy, 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 Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Brown? Worst photo ever! Uh, uh, Tina, Tina. Char Charlie, Charlie Brown! Alfalfa's baby picture! Worst sweater ever! Insane Asylum! <laughs> that looks like your dog's baby cat, no? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory! Oh, that was good. That. Charlie Brown! That's Charlie Brown! Oh, I got it. You tried. Oh, yeah. But you still got the old... Oh! oh. oh. That was good. Oh, I love that. All right. Are we up? All right, we Jones up? family. Yep, Jones are we ready family. to steal? Yep, Jay. Okay. All right, let's Let me see. get the timer. Ready? 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 Okay, yep. go. Go. All right, here we go. Look, it's me. Uh, 
Uh, um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. That was Sienna. That was Sienna. That, you're on my team. Yeah. 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 You're on my team. Okay. My daughter oh. shouted, blurted out the answer. How do you know she? First word. Two syllables. Ride, Biker. drive, Biker. Truck, truck, truck driver, truck driver, uh, train, truck. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, taxi driver. Yes, yes, taxi driver. Okay. All right, son, daughter, come on, one of your kids, do it. Honey, you should go next. Good idea, good idea. I'm yeah. down here. You know, I mean, this is perfect for you. Okay, All right, here is it, is it, is it your? Oh my. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two, two words. words. Okay, um, first word. Um, first um, one syllable. Yeah. yeah. Ear. Ear. Earwax. Earwax. Yes. 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 Really? I mean, did you ever think about having these published? No, no, I just uh, write them down, just to get them out of my head. Uh, I'm impressed. Oh, thanks. In fact, I am gonna go to the cabin right now and do a little writing. Well, stick around, I've got this amazing computer program. You just talk into it, it writes it all for you. Oh, no, 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 I would be lost if I had to do that. I'm just gonna go back, start a fire, and, you know, do it the old-fashioned way, like our forefathers. <laughs> it might inspire me. At least let your wife and kids stick around. They're having such a good time. They'll stay warm anyway. I appreciate that tremendously. Finally, I can focus. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Ah. Hope you focus. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was so awesome. <laughs> Night, Dad. See you in the morning, Dad. We're back. How's it going, honey? It's not. I don't know, it's just Robert. I mean, did you get the feeling that he's always trying to upstage me the way he's just flaunting his money and his success in my face? You know, I really don't think so. I think he's just really excited to see his old friend. He's a sweet guy and he likes to be generous with his money. Must be nice to be so generous. I'm gonna go warm up the bed for you. You come soon? Yeah, I'll be there later. Son bonding dad. How old are you now? Uh, 15, dad. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Wow. You know, I, I remember when I was 15, my dad. Yeah. Well, what'd they come back with? Oh, no, we could do better than that. I was gonna sell that Thanks thing. Thanks for your in company, six dad. And make the biggest profit. What? Are, are you serious? Hey. hey. Ooh. Eva made these. Thank you. I thought you might want them. Mm. Uh, so the kids are with Robert and Eva. Um, Robert ordered some pay-per-view game on TV for Kyle to watch, and Eva is chaperoning Tommy and Sienna in the hot tub. And later... Wait, wait a second. I'm gonna go over and help Eva make lunch, and we'll see if we can coexist together in the kitchen. Tommy and Sienna are in the hot tub? Honey, it's fine. And it's the perfect time for you to get some writing done. How do you like that? Um, well, I spoke to management. They said they'll have the electricity on later. Great!
Don't look at me like that, Buster. What do you think? I write anything good, huh? I mean, you're supposed to help me. You're supposed to be my muse. <sighs> I know. I'm just a little preoccupied right now. I mean, I'm just thinking about Mr. Millionaire over there, and <sighs> boy, what I could do with some of his money. I thought you were gonna give me some good ideas. And look at you, you're not even listening to me right now. What should I write about? Probably being a little hard on myself, right? Excuse me, are you ignoring me now? Did I just break one of the Ten Commandments? Huh? I suppose that's why I gotta write this novel. So people will just know that I'm worth something. This is going nowhere fast. Maybe we should take a break, huh? You want some coffee? Hmm? Maybe we should go over to the Joneses and thank them for the pastries. It's probably the polite thing to do. Clear the mind, and then I can come back and... and write something magical. Is that a good idea? All right. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Wow. Tommy, what I wouldn't do to be in your shoes. Do you have any threes? Yeah. I mean, your dad is the coolest. He's all right. Do you have any fours? Uh, no, go fish. Just all right, are you kidding me? I mean, he practically knows every stat of every ball player ever. Yeah, and you get to stay in places like this all the time with huge screen TVs. You can go snowmobiling whenever you want. And I bet you have, like, a basketball court at your house back in Cali. It's, it's a half court. Oh, man. And his dad is getting him a BMW for his 16th birthday. Are you serious? What kind? Honestly, I'd rather have like a CJ5, just an old Jeep. Tommy, do you want to get like married so your dad can be my dad? And this phone, I just love it so much. Uh, Kyle, do you want a refill? Yes, Kyle? please. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Hurry back. What would you do if mom and dad saw you with that? Please don't tell them. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm not going to tell on you. So, you really like that kid, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's like totally super cute, right? Well, well, I mean, if you ever need anybody to talk to or have any questions about anything, I'm, I'm here for you. I am your big brother. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle, that's really sweet. Okay, no, stop, because my mascara's gonna wear. made us some hot cocoa. Thanks. I also rented us a giant helicopter, big enough for all of us. We're gonna have a sunset tour over the mountain. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds awesome. Look, thank you for everything. Really, I mean, I, mean, I appreciate your generosity. I mean, my kids love you, really. I mean, I love you, but I need to spend a little alone time. You know, and, and, and maybe you should be with your family. When's the last time you hugged Tommy? Seriously. Why don't you take him on a helicopter ride? I'm gonna get some riding done. Thanks, man. How about one last challenge? Winner take all? <laughs> what do you have in mind? We're on a roll. Kids, lunch is almost ready. It's fun having you in the kitchen. Yeah. 
Say, you wouldn't want to keep going, maybe, and make a dessert. <gasps> dessert, yes. I totally forgot to have dessert delivered with my groceries this morning. Thank you. You have your groceries delivered? You don't? Wow. Wow. You know, I'm sure we can make something from whatever you've got here. Okay. In okay. fact, I bet you have all the ingredients necessary to make my grandmother's famous chocolate fudge brownie. Warm and flaky on the outside, melty and fudgy in the middle. Oh, fancy that. We got everything I need for my famous white chocolate cheesecake with a surprise cookie crumble crust. My grandma's brownie is really good. Sounds a little boring. Ah. I'm just saying. Look at our husbands go. So the boys were at it again. This time, there was no fooling around. Say, you wouldn't be up for maybe a little friendly competition, would you? You're on. This was war. How do you feel? That hike almost killed me. Good. Final challenge. <sighs> this is for all the marbles, the <sighs> finale of the Carl Carter Memorial Olympic Games. Let's do it for your pop. So far, you're keeping track of the medal count. I've won the snowshoe, the charades, the well, everything. And then you've wait, won wait, the. Wait, you've won the. I got you've won the nothing. A point for charades. You've won nothing. Okay. But are you in this? You're the champ. Okay. Deal. I love you, Pop. First man down. On three. Ready? Three. I win it first. What are you talking about? That was a tie. All right, it was a tie. That was a tie. That was a tie. How do that we was, settle this? That was. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how we settle this. Hey, Tommy. Can we speak for a moment? Uh, yeah, of course. Sienna's downstairs watching the dessert contest between our moms. Oh, that, that's funny. Yeah. Listen, though. I mean, you seem like a great kid, but. If you hurt my sister in any way, I'm gonna have to pound on you, all right? Yeah, of, of course. I mean, I understand. Uh, I'd never hurt her, but do you, do you even think she likes me? Or do you think she's just acting like it because she wants to use my phone? <laughs> it's definitely not your phone, all right? This is fantastic. This is awful. Well, that's a little harsh. No, it's awful because it is so much better than mine. Oh my god, I can't stop eating this thing. Oh my god, you're so much. You're really talented, Holly. Thank you, Eva. Well, thank you. Maybe less is more. Sometimes it is. Mom, can we please just stay here while our power's out? No, kids. Mom, yeah. even it'd be more comfortable. You could cook easier. There's more games to play. There's more stuff to they do. They have a huge TV with cable. And we yeah. watch movies. They have a jacuzzi. Place is pretty spectacular, but we're going to ours. Oh. Watch out, it's slippery. Oh. I had you. You might have had me, but I crossed the finish line first. I'm a champion! <laughs> All right. You want to say it's a tie? Okay, it's a tie. It's a tie. We tie. If we tie, that means I won because I won all the other okay, events. Okay, wait, wait, like wait, wait, stop, idea? stop, 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 okay? I'll tell you, there's only one way to fix this. What? One last challenge. Huh? What is it? Huh? Family versus family. Carter versus Jones. Okay. Whoever finds... The Arbol de Navidad Perfecto first wins the whole thing. The tree? Yes! The magic tree? Yes! So the lines of challenge were drawn in the snow. As both men went to work, informing their families and getting them ready for the greatest adventure they had ever embarked on, 
Binding our bowl de Navidad perfecto. The magic tree. Woo! Okay, Jones family, we are going on a family adventure together to find a giant Christmas tree. A giant Christmas tree. What about the 30-foot thing behind you? Do you remember how much we paid a designer to decorate that thing? No, no, no. Not that Christmas tree. We are looking for a legendary tree. It's called El Arbol de Navidad Perfecto. I don't even know if it exists, but people have been searching for this thing their entire lives, have not found it. Today, we are going to find it. But before we go, there's... There's something I need to say to you. Come here. Stand up. I hope you don't think I'm a lousy dad. And I know I don't say this to you enough, but... I love you, son. I'm very proud of you. Go get dressed! Is, is that okay? I don't know, honey, but all I do know is we better find that tree. Get dressed. Arbol de Navidad Perfecto. What is that? The Arbol de Navidad Perfecto is a story that my father used to tell me when I was nine years old. It's, it's a Christmas tree, a magic Christmas tree that exists somewhere here in Farthington Pines. And legend has it that whoever finds it will receive eternal happiness and riches beyond the wildest dreams. Wait, a magic Christmas tree? Yes. Well, we gotta go find it. Yes, and before the Joneses. So just think of it as like, uh, I don't know, a treasure hunt and we're looking for the treasure. Okay. We're gonna need a map. Wait, wait, like this one? Look. Where did you get this? I found it the other day in a book. No, this this is my map. I drew this when I was nine years old. Oh. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this, guys. <laughs> Me too. I think we got Willow through Catherine uh -huh. Pass covered, but I might be between the Reed and Benson Ridge right here. Well, that looks awfully high, honey. You know altitude makes me blow. Well, you snowboard in that area. What do you, have you ever seen? Anything no, else? we're usually off down on this side of the mountain. You know, this isn't even this mountain ridge. What? All right, come on, focus, focus. Where is this magic tree? Come on, Jones family. If we go down this trail here, if we could focus on hitting uh, Silver Lake uh -huh. to Twin to Twin Lakes, uh -huh. it's got to be in there, okay? Uh, kind of like Twin Peaks. You guys ready to do this? Yes. Let's Dang. find this tree. Let's go get this tree. Oh my God. But sometimes you don't know what you're really looking for, but you have to start the journey because the journey <sighs> is what it's all about. This is awesome. Come on, let's keep going. Honey, but this is... Oh, how much farther? Oh. I mean, would you look at this view? Oh. Oh. Sir, sir, we're just a little lost. How are you today, sir? Um, we can't seem to find this old tree, this uh, uh, this ancient uh, uh, Arbold de, de Navidad uh, 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 Perfecto. The sacred tree. Yes, yes, the sacred tree. You don't find the sacred tree, it finds you. But try that way. So you're saying it's that way? Thank you. He says it finds us. We can't find it. And sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, be careful. Oh. 
It's around here somewhere. Oh. How are you guys holding up? Oh. Hey, Dad, how much farther is it? Oh. I'm so tired. Oh. Oh. Shit. This guy on that. I think we've gone a little too far. Oh. Oh. Hi. Sorry. We're a, we're a little lost. Do you, do you just have any idea where we are? Yeah, do you? Hello? Oh. Keep it. Pick him. Uh, honey, he's as lost as we are. Oh, uh, really, honey? Honest to God. <sighs> this all looks the same. So beautiful. Oh. I used to hike all through here when I was a kid. Well, let me guess. It was uphill both ways, huh? Come on, let's keep <laughs> oh. going. I really hope this tree exists. I'm sorry. Just hold it. No, I'm We're sorry. We're almost there. I know oh, it, honey. Gosh. Whoa. It's really stop It's this way, guys. Ooh. Yeah. It's this way. <sighs> Baby, I think I just have to crawl at this point. Oh, it was so deep. Whoops. Oh. Hang in there, guys. We're almost there. I'm trying. Oh, thank God for Pilates. Hey, it stopped snowing. Oh, my God. I can open my, my jacket for a second now. Oh, yeah. I think we're getting closer. You feel the magic? I feel a lot of cold snow. That's what I feel. That way. That's what you've been saying this whole entire time, that way. Uh -huh, I can feel that it. Way. Dad's oh, right. For goodness sake. OK. That's, that's you and Buster and the kids. Just keep going. Just bear to the right up there, OK? Come on, Buster. Yeah. See, we're going to find this tree, OK? Yes, we are, son. Here's the map, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I love you. Keep going, OK? Look for Beaver Rock. Oh. Daddy. I just wanted to tell you how blessed I feel for having you in my life for as long as I did. Everything that you shared with me, everything that you taught me, thank you so much, because I get to pass that on to my family now. But I have just one favor. I need your help. And if you're up there next to the big man right now, please, Dad, please, ask him to point me in the right direction to find this magic Christmas tree. That's all I need. It's just one little sign. Uh, we're exactly looking for what? The tree, the tree. I know, I know, but where is it? Where is it? It's this way. I feel it. Oh, that's got to be it. Yep, yep. Come on. If anything, we could look down off the hill. No, no, no. This way. This way. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, see, I told you I could be an outdoorsy type of girl. Oh, we're getting close. Uh, I hope so. It's going to find us. Come on. Come on. And sometimes you have to know. You just have to believe. Buster? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Buster! I'm coming! I'm coming, buddy! I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think that's it. Uh, are, are you sure? Honey, are you sure? I'm sure. Well, how do you know? I just don't feel it. Can I help make you feel it? He said it would find us. And we found it. 
keep going. Well, I got news for you. It found me. And I am just fine with that one. I just think yeah, it's so ridiculous. Woohoo! Buster, you found it! Yes! We did it! The Arbor did not be that perfecto! What are you doing? We found it, son. This is the tree. Oh. Really? Doesn't look like much. Are you sure, Dad? I mean, how do you know that's it? Because I can feel it. Oh, honey. It's beautiful. I've been searching for this tree my whole life. I've never been happy with who I was. I always wanted more. I wanted to give you guys everything. I'm just a son of a baker. But I should be proud of that. Finding this tree has just made me realize that I'm the richest man in the whole world. Oh. I love you guys. Oh. Honey, you don't have to do anything more for us. I married the man of my dreams. He's everything I hoped he would be. Oh, man, you're the best, Dad. I mean, you always do everything for us. I love you too, Dad. And I'll stop texting on my phone so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You did it, Jay. You found it. What, is that it? That's it? That's it. Seriously, Dad? Looks like you found the tree. Congratulations, you win. We're both winners, buddy. I mean, look at this. Look at our families. Eternal happiness. <laughs> Riches beyond your wildest dreams. It's Holly. You have got a great dad. I mean, I'm, I'm so proud to be, a, to be his friend. I can't wait to spend more time with him. He's got so much to teach me. You know, thank you. You're. You're a great dad, too. <laughs> all right, that's it. You're all coming over to our house for a big old Christmas yeah. dinner. Yeah. All of us, I'm not taking no for an answer. We wouldn't have it any other way. And we're cooking. You're on. All right. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you, too. I love you guys right, let's so do much. <laughs> Yes, Harbol de Navidad Perfecto was indeed a magical tree, riches beyond your wildest dreams, and eternal happiness. And with that said, the two families worked together and cooked the best Christmas dinner they ever had. And they all had a new appreciation for themselves and each other. Ta-da! Come taste the magic, people! Hey, kids, come on! Come on! Oh, and dressing and stuffing. Yeah! Nice. What is it? Open it up. What'd you get me? Open it up. Merry Christmas, Buster. <laughs> Boy and friends reunited. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Imagine when they were six. To the Carter and Jones families, eternal happiness. To riches beyond your wildest dreams, my friend. I hope you like it. Come on. Probably more mature. <laughs> Which, speaking of, 
I could have been a little bit more mature, and I have to say, I'm really sorry because you are so talented. And Robert and I were oh talking my God. about it. Really? Yes. And I don't know if you have us, maybe we can invest in it. We could work together. We could maybe combine our recipes. Oh, are you serious? Yes. You are I, so I, talented. I, I Thanks, would honey. Be honor her. You would. Yes. Oh, come on, let's talk about it. <laughs> Robert and Jack continued their friendship and ended up going into business together and started a renovation at Fathering Pines. Hey, guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Wow. wow. Is that for me or him? <laughs> I'm just... You can have chocolate. Oh, Merry Christmas, buddy. Good Merry Christmas, Buster. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks delicious. Oh. Holly and Eva also got into business together and expanded the bakery, and it's been standing room only ever since. I got to watch Jack finally finish his novel. That was our story about a simple man and his family discovering their blessings and being happy with who they are and what they have. That year was a magic Christmas. And that's the end of our story. <laughs>